these six steps stood out um, through that research, interaction with students that really helped us in terms of shifting our mindset to utilize hip hop for healing. The first step is to accept that there's oppression and privilege. Um, I think a lot of the debate about hip hop culture, and uh, I want to take a moment to really put a pinpoint there and distinguish something um, according to my theory, because according to other hip hopologists, you're going to hear a different theory and definition of hip hop and rap music. So let me put that out there as well. Um, throughout this talk, I'm going to say hip hop and I'm going to say rap music. Hip hop is the culture from which rap music derives. So hip hop is the overall, like the DJing together, the rap music, the knowledge of self, that's the, the total sum being, right? Um, and then rap music is a subculture of that culture. Um, so that's how I distinguish it. So it's important to accept that there's oppression and privilege in, in hip hop culture and rap music specifically, because we all have oppression and privilege within ourselves. And so that goes to the second, which is identifying your oppression and privilege. We all have that. Um, and sometimes it gets uncomfortable to write, to identify with our oppression and our privilege. Both can be uncomfortable. Um, and we both have So that. number three is identify your feelings. And you want to do that through metaphors, images, sensory experiences. Because I know for a part of my journey, uh, a lot of my consumption of music was through music videos. Number four is notice themes in the song that connect with themes in your reality. Um, and, and with that, it's important to notice your themes before you try to connect other people's themes. Because then you can get crossed and you'll start comparing yourselves. Or you'll, um, it could get e become easy to say, well, that's not what I got from that song. Am I wrong? And so it's important to connect your themes personally. Do that with yourself. And then the fifth one is listen for positive messages that promote positive change. And again, that's for you. Because... If you try to funnel your life through everybody else's lens, you will not live your life. You will live the life of everyone else around you. And then you'll look up and be like, oh, my God, where's my life? So really work hard on saying, OK, this this lyric meant this to me. And this is how I heard this lyric. That's the beauty of of rap music, really. And then lastly, you want to identify ways in which you can produce this positive change in your reality and then act on it. So for me, again. That Quiet Storm remix, I put 100% in every line that I dropped. That's an affirmation for me. Like, I put 100% in every line that I drop. Every time that I'm doing something, I hear that song come up. Or I may hear, now I may hear Boosie set it off because I, I work on transmuting that energy into like setting it off in a great way. So I may also hear I'm about to set it off, you know, or bitch can't do it like me. Nope. So like, you know, it may be all kind of different songs. And I have to, I've realized that that I live my life through lyrics and my I create like these playlists in my mind that really amp me up and have me feeling like great. Um